Hello dear friends, welcome to the world of mathematics. It's me Srija Suresh and you are watching SS Math Solutions. In this video, we are going to discuss about the quadratic equation. Solution of a quadratic equation by factorization method. What is a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation, I an mean equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers and a not equal to 0. So this is called the standard form of a quadratic equation. Why we need to study quadratic equation in the real life? We are actually used in everyday life as when calculating areas, figuring a product's profit or finding the speed of an object. These are some real life examples which require the quadratic equation. Now, we already told ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a not equal to 0 is the standard form of a quadratic equation. Well, now we can check some examples of a quadratic equation. These are the examples of a quadratic equation. 5x square plus 10x minus 35 is equal to 0. 3x square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0 x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. These all are the examples. Today we are going to learn how to factorize this type of quadratic equations. We are using factorization method for finding the solution. There are different types of methods for finding this quadratic equation solution. Today in this section we are going to discuss about the factorization method. So our first question is find the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by factorization. This is the way we got the uh, question uh, about this factorization. Find the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by factorization. Now, well what is the root of the equation? So roots means in generally we are telling a real number alpha is called a root of the quadratic equation a square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a not equal to 0. If that alpha satisfies the equation, that alpha satisfies the equation means what? Our equation general equation is a x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If alpha is a root of this equation means that this alpha satisfies in this equation means that when we will substitute this alpha instead of this x a alpha square plus b alpha plus z is equal to 0. This means that alpha is a root of this equation. When our roots of the equation satisfying that equation that when we substitute that alpha or whatever the value of that equation when we will substitute in this equation when the answer is 0 means that that number satisfying the equation and that is a root of the equation actually roots means a solution that is we can say that x is equal to alpha is a solution of the quadratic equation x is equal to alpha is a solution of the quadratic equation or we can say that alpha satisfies the quadratic equation Okay, now we go to what is the roots of the equation. Now we are going to find the root of this equation by factorization method. So our equation is that 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is our equation. 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 is our equation. When we got a factorization, sorry, when we got a quadratic equation for factorization, Firstly, we will take our middle term. Here is what is our middle term? 5x minus 5x is our middle term. Uh, uh, like polynomial, we um, found that a solution. Same way, here also we will split our middle term. That is minus 5x. So, our minus 5x is here. How we will split this minus 5x? Minus 5x, we are going to split like this. Minus 2x minus 3x. What is minus 2x minus 3x is minus 5x. Why we took minus 2x and minus 3x? There is minus 4x and minus 1x is there. Why we didn't take that one? Because from our equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Here we will check this 
first and last term, eighth position and last position. So two x square plus three. Okay, multiply that. Two x square into three is equal to six x square. That is, we need two numbers. When we multiply that two numbers, we got six x square. And when we add or subtract whatever this, after adding this one, we will get minus five x. These are the two numbers we need here. So minus five x we split like this minus two x minus three x. When we sub uh, multiply these both minus two x into minus three x, we will get six x square. Two into three is six, and minus x into minus x is x square. So when we split like this, we it will be easy for you. Okay. So minus five x we split like minus three x. Minus two x minus three x. Okay, now we are going to take this equation here. So two x square minus five x plus three is equal to. I am just writing instead of this minus five x, we are writing minus two x and minus three x. Okay, so two x square minus two x. This minus three x. Plus three is equal to zero. From these first two equation, we can take this minus two x out. Sorry, two x outside, and here also common factor three is there. So how we will take two x outside? Take two x outside. What happened? From this two x gone, then remaining x is there. Here full two x gone, then minus one is there. Okay. From here, I am taking three outside. Minus three outside, so minus three gone. Then what is the remaining part? X and here from here minus three gone, so minus one will come. This equal to zero. Again, now we need to check both the terms. X minus one is a common term. So again, we are going to take this x minus one from both the equation. Then the balance x minus one gone. Then balance two x is there. Here also x minus one gone. So x minus three is equal to zero. So now we got two terms is equal to zero. X minus one is equal to zero. Two x minus three is equal to zero. So both the terms is equal to zero means we can equate each term. Okay. So x minus one is equal to zero or two x minus three is equal to zero. That is from here x minus one is equal to zero means that x is equal to one. Two x minus three is equal to zero means two x is equal to three. From here, x is equal to three by two. So we got two x values, one and three by two. So we can tell these one and three by two are the roots of this equation two x square minus five x plus three. How we can prove this x is equal to one and x is equal to three by two is the roots of the equation? How we can understand is this is it a roots? For that we can find is it roots or not. Just to substitute x is equal to one in this equation. Okay, so two into x value one square minus five into one plus three, that is equal to two into one two minus five into one is five plus three. Two plus three is five. Minus five is equal to zero. So x is equal to one is satisfying this equation. Or x is equal to one when we substitute x value one here, we go the value as zero. So we can tell that x is equal to one is a root of this equation. Similarly, we can prove x is equal to three by two is a root of this equation. Hope you understood. Let's try one another example. Find the roots of the equation x square minus three x minus ten is equal to zero by factorization. So what we will do? Firstly, we will take our middle term as minus three x. Okay, so minus three x is there. So how we can tell how we will split this minus three x? Before that, we need to take the last two terms, first term and the last term. So after multiplying this x square into ten, we got ten x square minus ten x square, right? So minus ten x square. So when we can take two numbers that 
addition we will get minus 3x and uh, after multiplying these both surely we will get minus 10x square so what are these two numbers minus 3x and minus 10x square by multiplication so we can easily take that two numbers what all are the numbers mm, 2x and minus 5x 2x and minus 5x 2x into minus 5x you will get minus 10x square minus 3x 2x mi plus minus 5x means minus 3x so these are the two numbers 2x and minus 5x so we can arrange now take our equation x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 that is we can split this minus 3x by 2x minus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0 okay so we already split already split up the like this 2x minus 5x now from here i am taking x outside okay so x gone then what is the remaining part x plus 2 and from here we can take minus 5 outside right so the balance from here minus 5 gone that balance is x and here plus 2 is equal to 0 again x plus 2 is a common term for both the terms so we will take again x plus 2 outside then x plus 2 gone what is the balance x minus 5 is equal to 0 so now we got two values so x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 5 is equal to 0 from here x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 5 so two roots minus 2 and 5 are the roots of this equation x square minus 3x plus 10 hope you understood so here the question find the roots of the equation 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to 0 by factorization so when we uh, got like a fraction fraction like question firstly that is easy i think so uh, just to take the lcm of this 8 and then do the factorization okay so for that 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 right so 8 we can take the lcm so 8 into 2 is 16x square 8 into x minus 8x 8 and 8 cancel this plus 1 then that by 8 we are I am taking outside so this is our new equation 1 by 8 into 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. After taking this LCM this 8 gone right. Now how we need to take the middle term minus 8x and separate it. So okay so minus 8x and after multiplication 16x square into 1. 16x square we need after multiplying that two times. What all are that, that two times? plus 16x square we need and after adding we, we need uh, minus 8x so easily we can take that two terms minus 4x minus 4x right so multiplication 4x into 4x 16x square will get and after adding minus 4x minus 4x we get, get minus 8x so easily we got so we will substitute here 1 by 8 into 16x square minus 4x minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 that is 1 by 8 into 16x square and 4x we can take 4x outside easily so 4x into after go, uh, going 4x from here what is your balance 4x again minus 1 from these two terms again what we will take nothing is there common but we can take minus then only we will get minus 4x minus 1, right? So minus 4x minus gone, 4x plus 1 minus gone, then minus 1 is equal to 0. Now finished. 4x minus 1 and 4x minus 1 again we can take outside. Both are common. So 4x minus 1 is going out. Then the balance 4x. From here 4x minus 1 gone, minus 1 is equal to 0. So, we can equate 
1 by 8 is a constant, so you need to uh, check this one. Either 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, 2 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, right? 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. That is from here we will get 4x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 by 4. Here also x is equal to 1 by 4. So both the roots same we got. That is only one root for this equation. Hope you understood the concept. So this much only for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel for future videos.